This is Sean Ryu and I'm back with another gear review video and today I'm going to be doing a review on what's in my Diddy bag and before I get started I just want to kind of give credit to Chad Poindexter from Six Blog. he had actually just done a recent review of one of the products that I'm going to be mentioning and it was because of his review that I actually decided to go with his the same option that he did so let me go ahead and get started first thing is is this is what I used to use for a Diddy bag before this is just a Cuban fiber uh, stuff sack. It worked great, but I decided that after watching his video, I had always wanted something with a zipper on it, and so I decided to go with this option. And this is made by Eagle Creek. It's called a packet system. The difference in weight, if I remember, this is like 0.1 ounces, this is 0.4 ounces. So it's 0.3 ounces. Yes, it is going to weigh a little more. It is bigger, so I can fit more stuff in it. Um, but overall, you know, I'm very happy because to me, I just, like I said, I wanted something with a zipper, and this just seems to fit the bill of more of what I wanted. Um, so let me just go ahead and get started and, and show you what I keep in here. So, first thing, this is my headlamp. Uh, this is a new one that I just got. It's made by Black Diamond. It's a Black Diamond Ion. If you want more information, um, I did actually do a gear review on this. So, you know, please feel free to check out the gear review I have on it. I'm not going to spend time going in it, but this is, uh, if I remember correctly, like 1.48 ounces. In addition to that, here's a couple other things I carry. Uh, I prefer to carry smaller bottles to shave on weight, um, and this is actually packed up for an upcoming backpacking trip that I'm going to be taking. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of ridge walking, and we're going to be in a lot of open areas, so it's you know I'm taking suntan lotion just to play it safe. Uh, some deep wood off, as well as some hand sanitizer. I don't carry a lot of bug spray because what I do is I normally treat my clothes and, and my gear in permethrin so I really don't need a lot I just need a little bit for the exposed area so you know just as another tip that's a good way of cutting down on having to carry a lot of bug spray I see some people carry you know the huge bottles of deep wood off um, I just need you know a couple little squirts on the exposed areas and then I'm good to go because the rest of my clothes is already treated in permethrin this when I actually uh, start backpacking goes into one of my hip belt pockets along with these actually uh, just to have immediate access to them but you know here's a couple other things that I carry around uh, I carry some vitamin or multivitamins just because I want to make sure I'm taking them so I, put, I leave them in my hip belt pocket so that way I don't forget to take them in Sometimes I used to put them in my food bag and then I'd forget they were in my food bag and then I just wouldn't take them so I just carry them in there. Um, a little button compass as well as I, I have uh, gauge gears so I carry a couple of these little extra rubber bands just in case I lose one. Mini big lighter. Uh, Spyderco ladybug knife. Uh, for those of you guys that don't know anything about this knife I'm not going to do a full review on it now, but if you're interested, let me know in the comment section and I'll be more than glad to do it. But that's what the blade looks like. It weighs 0 0.6 ounces, if I remember. Um, to me, I used to carry a uh, Leatherman uh, Style CS, but I wanted something with a little bit of a bigger blade, even though one of the things I do miss about the Style CS is uh, it is a multi tool, so there's a lot more functions. But I do like the bigger blade on this, so that's why I carry it. This is just a little backup light. I like to carry it in my, like I said, in my hip belt pocket. That way, if I can't get to my headlamp, you know, this is something I have. I just recently did a gear review video on this, or an unboxing of it. Um, and one of the reasons why I'll be carrying it on my next trip, or my upcoming trip, is because of the fact that uh, this ion I haven't used long term, so I don't know how it's going to perform. Uh, so with this being 1.48 ounces and this being I think like 0 0.4 ounces or something like that, I don't mind carrying the extra little weight on this. Um, just you know, kind of show you how it works real quick. Swipe one time, your lights on. Swipe again to turn it off. Swipe twice and it goes to dim mode. And then, whoops, 
and then swipe a third time, then it goes to strobe mode. So again, for the weight, I don't mind carrying it. Um, not to mention that when I go to bed at night, this is normally around me. Um, so, you know, I may just end up using this instead of the headlamp uh, just for inside the, my tarp. Earplugs. For those of you guys uh, that stay in shelters or if you do backpacking and, you know, sometimes you have a hard time sleeping, great thing to carry. I also carry a first aid kit, but I like to have these readily available just in case I need them in addition to what I carry in my first aid kit. So I just have a couple of vitamin I, uh, otherwise known as ibuprofen as well as some extra strength Tylenol. And chapstick. Don't need to go into specifics, but there's a lot of uses for it. If you don't carry it, I highly recommend that you do. So that's it. Again, like I said, this, this bag actually normally goes in my front uh, hip belt pocket. It's also a Z-Pax uh, Cuban fiber. Um, I don't remember what they call this specifically, but it's kind of like a wallet. Um, I do also carry a Cuban fiber wallet. Nothing fancy to it. It's enough to put some cash in there. Um, you know, I carry my li or my license as well as one credit card, um, as well as my insurance information. Uh, that way, in case I need it, it's all in here. Okay, so back to the Diddy bag. I just did a review on this. It should probably already be posted. Uh, this is my first aid kit slash gear repair kit. I'm not going to go too far into depth about it, uh, but this weighs 2.5 ounces. Another thing I carry is this is my actual hygiene kit minus my toilet paper. Uh, these right here are chewable uh, toothpaste tablets. Um, I forget the name of the tablet. If you want to know, just comment below and I'll, I'll tell you. I may even just add it in the description box. Um, I just carry two of these for each day that I'm normally going to be out. Uh, my next trip, I'm going to be out for uh, about six or seven days. So I've got enough in here to cover that. Uh, this is also a Z-Pax uh, toothbrush. Uh, it's broken down. And then, I forget the name of these, but they're, uh, the, they're like the soap uh, sheets. Um, so, you know, I can use those. There's enough for one for each day. So if I need to clean myself or clean anything, you know, there's a couple of those in there too. Um, you know, as far as hygiene is concerned, I think it's important to make sure that, you know, everybody, you know, what's going to work for you. My major things is I want to make sure that I can brush my teeth, uh, keep my teeth clean. Uh, like I said, this is, uh, can be used to either wash yourself or wash anything that you have. One sheet a day normally does it for me. Uh, just a lighter option. I used to carry Dr. Bronner's and uh, like a little eyedropper or uh, dropper bottle, but I found that this was another way of just shaving some extra weight. For those of you guys that wear contacts, here's a couple of um, best practices. Um, the kind that I wear, I wear for a week and then I throw them away and then I go with another pair. So the way that I have this set up, contact case, I also have my contact solution and because like I said, I only have to wear them for a week or I can wear them for a week then throw them out. Um, this right here, I never really ever use, but it, you know, if it's more than a week, I'm going to need to, I may need to use it. Um, but it's just a little dropper bottle that I fill with saline so I don't have to carry a full uh, saline bottle. In addition to that, you probably can't see it, but you know, I've got an extra set of contacts in here just in case something happens to the pair that I have. So for those of you guys that uh, carry glasses or contacts, you know, this is just a, well, not glasses, but if you carry contacts, this is a way of shaving some weight. Um, like I said, I mean, instead of carrying the full bottle, get one of these little dropper bottles. It'll save you a lot of weight. I also carry a RAV Power um, external battery pack. Uh, that way I can charge my phone. I used to use a, a Black Diamond Revolt so I could charge that as well as my iPod. Uh, this is, a, or the capacity is 8,400 milliamps. Um, I'm currently using a Samsung Galaxy S5. Uh, I'll get about three charges with this. And this thing weighs, actually I'll tell you the weight on it. 
it has a very minimal weight for the amount of power that it has in it. Uh, I've went through about six or seven different power banks trying to figure out uh, the lightest option and so far this has been the lightest option uh, for this range in terms of 8400 milliamps. So on my scale it comes in at 5.8 ounces. So again, a way of being able to charge your phone um, several times. Uh, my phone, I want to say, has a 27 or 2800 milliamp battery. So I'm going to get less charges than somebody that's got a smaller phone that requires less. But you know, another thing that's really cool is that this does have a flashlight built into it. So you can actually use it as a backup flashlight if you need to. Um, when I use this, what I normally do is I just keep it in the bag. That way, I don't, that way it's got water protection, but I just normally keep it in the bag, attach my charging cable to here, and then just let it run out through there. So that's that. Another thing I also carry is just a um, micro USB charging cable. And I don't have it in here, but I have this little adapter that fits on here that makes it so you can use it with the iPod. Um, seven generation so you can actually fit it on there and you can use it to attach to your iPod so this one cable will actually charge my iPod as well as my um, cell phone and again if I was using my black diamond revolt I could charge my headlamp if I needed to so uh, you know for those of you guys that don't use external battery packs there's a lot of great uses for them I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it, but again, if this is something you want me to do a gear review of video on, I'll be more than glad to do that for you. Another thing I also carry in here is a piece of shock cord uh, with mitten hooks on it. And the reason why is because I use a quilt. So in situations where it's extremely cold, I can use that to fasten from one end of my quilt to the other and make it so it seals around my pad. So that way I don't have to worry about the quilt actually slipping around or uh, if I turn to my side that uh, you know I get cold air drafts. So another thing I carry. And the last thing I carry is just a little pack towel. Um, this is just in a Ziploc bag that way in case it does get wet or because that's what you're going to use it for is drying stuff off. Uh, you can still put it in the Ziploc bag and keep it from getting everything else. Uh, wet, but the other thing is is that if this was wet normally I would just carry it on the outside of my pack and one of my mesh pockets um, Let me just actually do a weight on this seeing how I got it out that way if anyone has any questions So the weight comes down at 0 0.44 ounces so for those of you guys that may be looking at a ditty bag you know, like I said, this is a great option. Matter of fact, I'll, I'll compare it against this one right here and tell you this may not even show up on my scale. Okay, so my Cuban fiber one is showing 0 0.14 ounces. So basically this is 0 0.3 ounces more than this. So I think that for the convenience of, not to mention that this thing's bigger too, if you look and do a size comparison, this is bigger so you can fit a lot more in it in comparison to this, uh, not to mention um, it's got a zipper on it and I don't know, I just like the convenience of being able to slide stuff in there and, and get to it. And it's also a lot wider too, if you, or if you look at it in comparison to this. So you can fit more stuff in here, obviously. The goal of ultralight backpacking is not to carry a lot of stuff, but to minimize it. But normally all this stuff right here is all the loose stuff that I normally carry. You know, the rest is going to be my cook system, my sleeping pad, my pet, um, my tarp, and, and a couple other little things. So this is just a way of just keeping everything together in one little pack. Uh, if you have any kind of questions or concerns, please feel free to comment below. Like, share, and subscribe. This is Sean Ryu. Thank you for watching.